My girlfriend brought to my attention an article in yesterday's newspaper, the one for Friday the 6th of July, 2007, which I thought I'd share with you all. Now bear with me as I'm translating this myself from Danish. The headline goes, Ancient DNA destroys the biblical creation story. Under that, there's a secondary header which reads, Science. The biblical creation story gets a punch in the belly by new research from the University of Copenhagen. Under kilometers of ice, scientists have found DNA that is about half a million years old, supporting the theory of evolution. The article itself reads, God created the earth in seven days, and it happened about 8,000 years ago. That is how millions of Christian creationists around the world still claim that Mother Earth and humanity was created. Now, Danish scientists from the University of Copenhagen can prove once and for all that this is not true. They have found ancient DNA from trees, butterflies and other insects under the several kilometers thick ice cap of Greenland. Different dating methods show that this DNA is at least 450,000 years old and possibly as much as a million years. Their study is published today in the renowned Science magazine. Here in Denmark, most people believe in the theory of evolution and not in God creating the world some 8 to 10,000 years ago. But in the United States, for instance, 40% of the population still believe in the biblical creation story. We are the first in the world to find DNA old enough to prove that there was a well-developed ecosystem thriving in Greenland and hence on the Earth half a million years ago, says Jan Peter Stephenson, scientist at the Niels Bohr Institute. So far, creationists have claimed that radiometric dating of fossils were not evidence for the age of the Earth. The fact that we now have DNA that we can prove is that old is proof that the scientific explanation is coherent, he says. Together with his colleague, Professor Dorte Dale Jensen and evolutionary biologist Eske Villerslo, they have been making ice core drillings in the ice cap on Greenland. In the frozen mud at the bottom of the ice cap, they found well-preserved DNA from past animal and plant life. Among other things, we found DNA from butterflies, yew, pine trees, moths, beetles and alder. This demonstrates the climate in Greenland at the time, which must have been something like how southern Sweden looks today. We did not find DNA traces from mammals, but they were probably also there in the woods at that time, says Professor Eskivilosliu. Eskivilosliu is internationally renowned for his work examining DNA from frozen earth and ice cores. For instance, he also found DNA from mammoths, steppe and wild horses in the Siberian permafrost. He is also looking for DNA in frozen stools from past humans. The scientists' research also shows that Greenland was covered with ice during the latest interglacial period, Eme, about 125,000 years ago, where the temperature in Greenland was, all, was about 5 degrees Celsius above the temperature today. So far, most scientists believed that the ice in southern Greenland would have melted during such a rise in temperature. Our research can also be used to make more precise predictions and climate models on the correlation between rise in temperature and the melting of the poles, it seems the ice on Greenland is more robust than we'd previously thought, and the rise in water level during the last interglacial period may have been caused primarily by melting of the South Pole, says Professor Dorte Dale Jensen, also of the Niels Bohr Institute. That's the whole article, folks. I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. By now, you'd think the number of nails in the coffin of creationism would be high enough that we could finally get to bury the fucker.